there are different ways you can customise your menu bar and have different things showing. So, um, for example, one thing I can have showing is the spaces icon here, shown here. So, if I want to have that showing, I go to System Preferences and then Expose Land Spaces from the top. And as long as you've got it set up, you've got all these options to have four spaces. Um, I'm just going to go over here to where it says Show Spaces and Menu Bar. So, make sure you have that box ticked, then it will show there. If you don't, it won't show. And um, this option is useful because you can see what space you're on by just looking at this icon. So, I'm on space two right now. Um, or you can you can change spaces from this icon, so I could go to space 4 and I'll just go back to space 2 um, or you can go straight to the preferences from that menu, from that menu. so that's really nice um, there's also these things here which don't defaultly come on your Mac and you need to download them so go to um, your internet browser and then go into Google and just search for that menus and then click on first thing that comes up and here you've got loads of different explanations for each one, each option you can have ticked on and um, checked on and then there's download menu, uh, the download bot, the download link, just click that and then um, once you've downloaded it go to your system preferences and then go to expose and spaces sorry, no, go to um, iStat menus and in, in the other section and then um, there's different options for each one you can have showing. So, for example, this one I don't have showing, and then this one I do. So this is where you can tick, untick, tick and untick for the different ones you want to have displaying. So I've just got the temperatures, the mem memory, and the CPU. Um, you can also change the option. There's diff loads of different options for each one. I'm not going to go over them because there's so many, and they're probably pretty easy to understand anyway. There is one that I'll go over, which is for them in general. Um, you can change the colour of what these things look like here. So I've got them on graphite right now. I could change them to purple or red or anything like that. So I'm just going to put that to graphite. Another option you can have is to have your um, flag showing from your country. So all it really is is a shortcut to the languages um, preferences, but it's quite a nice look to your menu bar, which I like. So to do that, go to System Preferences and then go to Language and Text and then go to the input sources button and you'll see here a list of loads of different um, countries flags your, I think your one will be defaultly ticked so you can have that will be the one showing um, if you this will be I think defaultly ticked so I'll just show this button hit this up this picture here um, if you don't want that one to show just untick it if you want the flag to show and then click show input menu in menu bar and there it is so basically it's the shortcut to the input sources menu but it looks quite nice to have a flag. Um, uh, these options are here, just the basic ones, the Wi-Fi and the volume control. Um, this is the date and time. So I've got the date, the time, the date, the date and the time show at once, which is what you can do with Snow Leopard and it's a really useful feature. So to change these options, go to system preferences and then go to um, date and time which I usually go from this menu so I don't remember where it is usually but date and time and then you can change what your date looks like your on your clock so your clock looks like so you can have it as digital analog I've got it as digital right now but you can change it to analog because I have a little image of the clock showing which I don't find very useful because you really can't tell very easily what the time is so I have digital turned on. Um, you can change the so you can change it so you can the second show so you can see at the exact time which I'm not really bothered about, so I just have that off. You can have the colons flashing on and off, so if you tick that, they'll go away every so often. Um, you can also have a 24 hour clock, so I've got now it's a 70 hours 48, or you can have 12 hours, this is 5.48 pm. You can also change to have whether pm or am is showing or not, so I can have that off. I'm just going to put 24 hour clock on. Um, date options, you can have the date and the day showing or just one of them, so I've got them both. You can even have neither of them or you can have one of them, just have both. And you can also have um, a little voice announce what the time is every so often, so if you want that you click, tick, you check the box there and it says on the hour, so that means it will announce the time every hour or whenever the clock changes to every hour exactly, or you can have it on the half hour or the quarter hour. 
so I could have it on heart on the hour. And you click customize voice and you can change what voice you have. So there's male voice, there's female voice, and there's even more. So when you click on it again, there's loads. So I'm just going to show you for now. Um, so I might want to have Alex, for example. You can change what the speed of the voice is if you want. So if you want to do that, you just click use custom rate, and then you can change it. So if you want to test, you just click play. Most people recognize me by my voice. You can have it faster. Most people recognize me by my voice. Or you can just have it slow. I'm just going to... There. I'm not going to have that on for now, you can just if you don't want it. Um, that's it for that. Um, so that's it really. Um, the other options are pretty simple. You've got Bluetooth on or off, you've got Time Machine which I haven't set up. Um, you've got your Spotlight which is already there. So yeah, there's different things. Um, the other things are iChat and other third party programs and QuickTime which I'm recording with right now. So they're not part of the customers in the menu but the other things are quite nice to have. Um, so yeah, that's it really for the video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below or send a PM. Thanks for watching.